Hey, Miss Potts. If you find this recording, don't feel bad about this. Part of the journey is the end. Just for the record, being adrift in space with zero promise of rescue is more fun than it sounds. Our food and water ran out four days ago. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. That'd be it. When I drift off, I will dream about you. It's always you. did exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. We lost, all of us. We lost friends, we lost family. We lost a part of ourselves. This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. an old message? Ant-Man? Ant-Man, I know you know, I know you know that. It's the front door. That's me. Can you buzz me in? an old message? Ant-Man? Ant-Man, I know you know, I know you know that. It's the front door. That's me. Can you buzz me in? That. Got a job really big. Lang. Hi, uh, is anyone home? This is Scott Lang. We met a few years ago at the airport in Germany. Got a job really big. Is this an old message? Ant-Man? Ant-Man, I know you know, I know you know that. It's the front door. That's me. Can you buzz me in? Thousand years ago, I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back.
I like this one. Where's the Avengers? They can bust the arms dealers all the long day, but that up there, that's that's the game. How are you guys planning on to doing that? Together. Tony. There was no other way. And we'll do that together, too. This isn't just about being right. It's about whether it's right.
Hey, get our new rock stars. I'm Sam Bash, and I'm here today to remind you that we're about to get the most epic superhero. Hero movie of all time in theaters this year. That's right, Ant Man and the Wasp. No, it's Avengers Infinity War. Gotcha. Dumb little joke to start 2018. You're very welcome. Don't worry, Avengers Infinity War will be hitting theaters May 2018. Very exciting. Dear Lord, we're getting a lot of superhero movies this year, and if you want to know the entire list of them, you can go and check out my video I did on this channel right here. But anyhow, this year we're going to be seeing most, if not all, of our current Avengers and MCU supporting cast teammates coming together to take on the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. The villain with a chin for days. Most of us have been keeping up with most of the news about this film. You're aware that Thanos and his children, the Black Order, will be searching the cosmos for all six of the Infinity Stones in the MCU to bring them together to complete the Infinity Gauntlet. With this, Thanos can wreak all kinds of havoc on the universe and beyond, but let's not get into spoiler territory just yet. We'll save that for another video. But today, I want to get you all up to speed on the current whereabouts and histories of the Infinity Stones in the MCU and what we could expect from them power-wise in Infinity War. Now, of course, like most of our videos, here is your spoiler warning for, well, I don't know, like you clicked on the video, so there's going to be spoilers. Let's say the Infinity War movie, the Infinity Gauntlet storyline in the comics, anytime they popped up in the comics, I'll end MCU movies, TV shows, etc., etc. Spoilers from here to the end of time. Also, spoilers for this one time I was a background dancer in the music video. Got my girls feeling sexy and fine. You're welcome. Let's get started. Let's kick this off with what are the Infinity Stones? Well, in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, we hear the Collector say this. For creation itself, there were six singularities. Then the universe exploded into existence, and the remnants of these systems were forged into concentrated ingots. Ooh, this is quite spooky. Taking that and applying it to the comic book explanation of the Infinity Gems, which is their comic accurate name, but before that they were Soul Gems, then Infinity Gems, and now Infinity Stones. Anyways, with all that, we're able to understand that these are aspects of our universe expressed as these stones. Make sense? Hey, 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 whatever. And those elements of our universe are space, time, soul, mind, power, and reality. Sure, if you were to break down what makes up a universe in the real world, this list would be a little bit different, but hey, comic books. Actually, in the most recent Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which I recommend you reading, they describe our universe as a simulation and the stones as the source code of said simulation. Pretty cool and explains if someone were to get their hands on the source code of the universe, they could do some serious damage. Like if someone had their hands on the time stone, they could possibly rewrite all of time in an instant. Or if they had the space stone, they could just rip a hole in the fabric of the universe and everything could just plunge into nothingness. Being that these are the embodiment of these pieces of the universe, these stones are extremely powerful when wielded by a living being, which we've seen expressed in the films. Although not all living beings, you gotta have some extra power if you wanna play with that kind of fire. Usually they can only be controlled by someone or something of immense power themselves, but not always the case, like how we see Doctor Strange utilizing the Time Stone, once it's, you know, housed in the Eye of Agamotto, or when Loki uses the Mind Stone when it's inside of his scepter to control Hawkeye, Selvig, the list goes on and on. Now let's talk about the fun stuff, what each individual stone is capable of, and maybe some abilities we haven't seen just yet on the big screen. First up, let's talk about the first stone we were introduced to, the Space Stone, which is currently inside the Tesseract. So far, we've seen the stone used to create weapons for Hydra during World War II. These weapons seemed to vaporize anyone who came in contact with the projectiles, the little blast. But it wasn't until the Red Skull grabbed the Tesseract with his bare hand that we see the real power of this stone. He just shot right up into space, just right up in there. He's probably dead, maybe. Maybe. The current theories state that the Red Skull was killed at this moment, or possibly he's alive somewhere in the infinity that is space, or possibly he maybe is in multiple places at once. I'll get back to that in just a second. We'll later see the Space Stone live up to its name by literally ripping a hole in space for the invading Chitauri army to fly through and attack New York City in the Avengers film. Thankfully, the Avengers were able to stop this in time and close the portal, but this is still just a fraction of its power. When utilized correctly, the Space Stone can allow the user to be omnipresent or everywhere in the universe at once. When used in other ways, they could, you know, teleport anywhere in the universe they like, replicate super speed, move objects or beings anywhere the user chooses, or literally change the distance of two points by warping space. Pretty cool. Does that mean that the Red Skull is split up and living in multiple places in the universe at the same time? Did he teleport somewhere else? Or is he just super dead and his organs are just spread out to the stars? There's a lot of options. Let me know your theories in the comments down below. Also worth mentioning, 
It's usually the purple stone in the comics, but in the movies, it's blue. I'm okay with that. Next, we meet the ether. I'm skipping the mind stone for just a second, but we'll come back to it, okay? Don't worry. The ether, again, from what we're able to gather is the MCU version of the reality stone in the comics. I'm being kind of vague because we haven't really seen the ether used in the way that resembles the reality stone in the comics, but I'm getting ahead of myself. While normally yellow in the comics, this red material in the films has been used as a weapon that was told to be able to revert the universe or reality back to a darker age pre-Big Bang by turning matter into dark matter. While that does sound evil, it doesn't really sound like the reality gem that we know and love. Also, it's not usually like flying goop, but I enjoyed the effect in Thor 2. Didn't really like that movie too much, but that was fine. When used properly though, it's basically a wishing stone. It can make anything in reality possible or impossible. You could will something into being even if it doesn't obey the laws of physics. Hell, you could throw out the laws of physics and make new ones and make a whole new universe if you'd like. Now, will we see this in Infinity War? I kind of hope so, but how could the Hulk punch reality back together? See, we all got heavy hitters. We don't. We need more mutants. We need more cosmic level beings. So I have no idea. But now moving on to the next Infinity Stone that's got its own movie was the Power Stone or the Orb that we saw as the MacGuffin in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One. For the most part, besides the comic power gem being red, not purple, the Power Stone in the film is fairly accurate to the comics. Fairly. <laughs> Basically, it can be used to enhance the user's strength, durability, etc., and give the user omnipotence when the full power of the stone is accessed. But here's the kicker. When combined with the other Infinity Stones, it can boost all of their power, making it far scarier. Now that's pretty cool, but let's talk about our next stone because I'm very intrigued to see how it will be used in Infinity War. I'm talking about the Mind Stone, the stone to star in both Avengers films. While usually it's blue in the comics, like it was in the first Avengers film, this yellow stone is both the cause of Ultron going crazy and murderous, but also the power that brought Vision to life and gave him his powers. Who knows? Fair enough. It's crazy space rocks. It can do whatever it wants. As for all of its capabilities, however, we've seen it take control of the mind of Hawkeye, Selvig, Dr. Helen Cho, and others, as well as bestow knowledge and wisdom to Ultron and Vision. But when its power is fully unleashed, this baby can connect with every single mind in existence at once. That could allow the user to take control of any brain they would like, but also access all of their thoughts, memories, and more. They can even enhance certain psychics' abilities as well. So if this Fox Disney deal could move a little bit faster, just a lead a bit faster we could see Professor X wielding a Mind Stone. Not the worst idea in the world. Would be pretty cool. The next stone on our list made its debut in Doctor Strange switching its color from orange to green. Please welcome the Time Stone to the stage. You guys get the idea. This one allows the user to manipulate time. Maybe just the time of specific objects like here. Or maybe all of time. Maybe even creating a time loop in certain instances. But at full power this stone can allow the user full access to the past, present, future, and everything in between and complete control over all these are just getting scarier and scarier by the minute, aren't they? Well, don't worry, because the last stone on the list is just a little small one. It's a soul stone. It's the only one we haven't seen yet in the MCU, as far as we know. This one, it can't be as scary, right? It's a little green gem in the comics, but it's probably going to be orange in the movies, most likely. It can't be that bad. Except for it can take control of all living and dead souls. <laughs> if you want it to. It can corrupt them and change them. Basically, you have control over all life in the universe. That might be the most terrifying one. But good news, it can also act as a gateway to a little pocket dimension where souls can live, like a little heaven. That's pretty fun if you ask me. So there you go. That's what the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy are up against in Infinity War. Sure, they did a pretty good job at fighting off a few of these stones one at a time, barely. But all together, that's gonna be a pretty scary scenario. I'm very excited to see it on the big screen. But really quick, let's talk about where these stones are now and where they have been. Where did they come from? From. Also, if you want an awesome visual history of the MCU, which I recommend you check out, our friend Eric and New Rockstar put together this awesome video. Click it. Check it out. Anyways, pre-Big Bang, these stones were systems floating around in the cosmos, and then they were concentrated into stones after the explosion creating our universe. Following that, we gathered the Celestials, like S on the Searcher that we saw in Guardians Volume 1, used the Power Stone and possibly more stones to pass judgment on whole civilizations, wiping out entire planets if they so choose in just a few seconds. Oh, no. That's scary. Following that, we see the Aether, aka the Reality Stone, floating around doing its thing. Malekith the Dark Elf, the guy we saw in Thor 2, was planning to use this to revert all nine realms back to pre-Big Bang darkness, but was thwarted by the Asgardians and Gore, and the Aether was stored away for safekeeping somewhere that nobody knew. But anyways, this is 
far in the past. Let's skip forward 5,000 years to World War II. We have the Red Skull and his men discovering the hidden Tesseract slash Space Stone. But anyways, you guys know the story. Red Skull gets booted into space and the Tesseract falls in the Atlantic Ocean to be recovered by Howard Stark, Tony Stark's daddy, and S.H.I.E.L.D. And we don't see that again until the Avengers film. During the Battle of New York, we see the power of the Space Stone with the destruction of Project Pegasus out in the desert and the portal over New York. This film is also the introduction to the Mind Stone that was hidden inside of Loki's scepter, which was definitely in Thanos' possession, and he totally lost it. He already had a gem, a stone, if you will. That must have been a bummer. After the battle, the Space Stone along with Loki are transported back to Asgard for safekeeping, then skip forward to the second time Malekith decided to try to destroy the universe with the newly discovered Aether. During this convergence event in Thor 2 and all the random wormholes opening up, Jane Foster actually gets sucked into one and she pops up in the hiding spot where the Aether is and it all gets sucked inside of her body. Eventually, Malekith gets his hands on her, sucks it out of her, Thor stops him, Thor kills Malekith, and Asgardians decide to hide the ether on nowhere with the Collector. Makes sense, you don't want to keep two Infinity Stones in the same place. Boy, are they going to be surprised about how many are hidden on Earth. Then, scooching forward to Guardians Volume 1, we discover that at some point between the Celestials using the Power Stone, just after the Big Bang until 2014, the Power Stone was hidden away in an orb on the planet Morag. The Ravengers and Yondu get word of this, but Peter Quill steals that intel, runs to Morag before they can get there, just in time to steal it, right as our favorite Thanos goons show up, Ronan the Accuser and his pals. You know the story, Ronan gets the stone, threatens to kill Xandar, the Guardians stop him, the stone is safely stored by the Nova Corps and a vault on Xandar. Scooching back to Earth, we find out that Hydra got their hands on Loki's staff following the first Avengers movie, and they've been using the Mind Stone to unlock abilities in certain individuals, specifically Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Eventually that stone is used to make Ultron, then used to make Vision to stop Ultron, and now resides in Vision's forehead to make laser beams and make him fly and walk through walls. You know, brain powers. I know fans of Vision will explain his abilities in the comments, and I've looked up on it, but it's just from the point of view of the movies, it doesn't quite make sense. Next up, we discover that the sorcerers and magic folk of Earth have been safeguarding the Time Stone for quite some time. Hidden safely within the eye of Agamotto, Doctor Strange is able to use it to defeat Dormammu, Kaecilius, and return the world back to work in order. After the conflict, he returns the eye and the Time Stone back onto its little pedestal for safekeeping. Bam, that's it so far. We thought we'd finally find the location of the Soul Stone in Ragnarok, seeing as how Hela is a goddess of death, and it makes sense that she'd use this stone to feed off people's souls and power once she killed them. But all we got was a tease of Loki possibly taking the Tesseract from Asgard before it exploded, and that being confirmed in the Infinity War trailer when he hands it over to Thanos or one of his Black Order. That's it, though. We don't know where the Soul Stone is. Or do we? Before we get to that, though, let's do a quick rundown. Space Stone, it's on that Asgardian getaway ship. Mind Stone, it's in Vision's pink forehead. Time Stone, it's inside that eye on the shelf. Power Stone, it's inside a vault on an alien world. And the Aether, aka the Reality Stone, is in nowhere. Sure, the Collector's home kind of exploded during Guardians Volume 1, but I'm sure that probably didn't destroy uh, Infinity Stone. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? The last question we're left with is, where's the Soul Stone? Well, kids, I got three theories. One, Thanos already has it, and we just don't know it. As far as the stones we saw in the trailer, we can confirm that he gets the space and power stones within this movie, but we can't see his thumb, which does hold a stone. And based on the teaser we saw a couple of years ago for Infinity War, it looks like a perfect place to store an orange one, aka the Soul Stone. And sure, you could point out that all the colors of the stones in that teaser don't line up with the trailer that we just got, but there's a chance the Soul Stone could already be on his thumb since we can't see it in that chart where he's dropping the stones into place. It's an option, that's all I'm saying. But here's theory two. What if we don't see it in Avengers Infinity War? There's a chance that as a way to hold off between the third Avengers film and Avengers 4, the Avengers are able to hide the Soul Stone from Thanos before he's able to get to it. Maybe they send it off world, or maybe to another dimension, thanks to Doctor Strange. But this might explain the two separate Avengers films, or at least have some story to connect them. Again, this is just an option, but Theory 3 is my personal favorite. I'm thinking that Wakanda is secretly holding on to a Soul Stone. I know this is a pretty popular theory on the internet right now, and it would explain why there's such a huge fight outside of Wakanda in the Infinity War trailer. Most likely, Wakanda has been using the Soul Stone as a way to commune with the dead, which is why the Black Panther is also called the King of the Dead. I think we actually see a hint of the previously mentioned pocket soul dimension in the Black Panther trailer. Remember that clip where T'Challa is walking into a field with a purple sky, and there's a bunch of panthers sitting on a tree, and their eyes are glowing, feeling like he's communing with the spirits of previous Black Panthers in a realm of 
of the dead. Maybe that's what Killmonger wants to use to take control of the world. It does make sense. He'd be very effective. He'd take control of every single living thing on a planet. Oh boy, that's scary. But what do you guys think? This is going to be one of the most epic movies to date, and I can't wait to see what they do with the Infinity Stones. Let me know your thoughts and theories on the Soul Stones whereabouts and Infinity War in general in the comments down below. But before you do that, give this video a like. Check out our full MCU timeline video. It's very good. And subscribe to New Rockstars for more content. Also, make sure you tune in at the end of the week for our panel show. It's very fun. I think you guys will enjoy it. I'm Sam Basher on Twitter. Send me your MCU theories. I'd love to hear them, and I'll see you guys next time.
guys are doing and welcome to a video that I've been putting off doing for a while. Yo guys, what is going on and welcome to a video that I've been putting off doing for a while. Uh, mainly because well, I didn't have a girlfriend, so but the other part is uh, also because I hate watching myself. So today is Talia watching my old videos. The beginning of Mini Minta, okay? I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be you just making fun of me and, and you crying. Yeah, I, <laughs> honestly, there's the whole thing of oh, you shouldn't make videos you don't want to watch yourself, but it's just me. Like even if I'm on someone else's channel, I don't like watching me. This is gonna be a hard video. I'll show you my first ever video. Yeah, it's a FIFA video. Is it voiceover? Is it? It's like, a voice. Okay. Uh, this is. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these, by the way. Like. Any of them. I just sound like I'm about to end Hi it. guys, welcome to my first video. I thought I'd just try winning the gold cup in FIFA Ultimate oh. Team. And as you can see, this is the team I've I liked it myself. <laughs> so let's see how I can do. Let's see how I can do. Look at that chance, so did you see that? Foot. Foot. Round one, here we go. Inside. Oh go on. Shot, far post, keeper saves it. <laughs> can we move on already? Until Mick. You, you're quiet, already? this is quiet. This is, you but sound that's... nervous. What do you mean? This is my first ever video. Of course I'm nervous. Random three. Random three? What about two and one? No, isn't it? It's three. I chose three random numbers. Random three. Random three? What about two and one? No, isn't it? It's three. I chose three random topics. I decided to try and do a vlog series. Yay, vlogs. Once a week, maybe. Yay, vlog. Look, I liked it again. I liked it again. Please just keep watching. I need to get so through this. this. Is the Harlem Shake. Which oh, no. you need to All listen to it. God! It's my channel now, guys. Oh my god! That was like my what's it called surfboard moment in the video I showed you. It's so bad. I respect every single person that watches me now, and you know, like everyone that watches me now and that stuck with me from this moment. Yeah, it's been a hard journey. I got a little cutaway. I started my cutaways early. Go on. Talking about those nights when you wake up and you can't feel your arm. Who was filming this? I think my brother filmed it for me. Oh my god. Like, you can't feel anything. I 100% have seen this gift somewhere. <laughs> it gets even worse. Can't use my legs this time. Oh my god. <laughs> Number three. See? It's quality. Quality content, that. It really is. How many subscribers did you have at this point? This is 2013. This is what my page looked like. How sick is that? The old YouTube is so much better. I miss old YouTube. But look, I just subscribed to Shauna. Look how sick this is. Look. The reason I had that many subscribers is because of a video that had just come out. The Harlem Shake, JJ did it. Uh, Have you never seen it? I don't think so. The video that had just come out. The Harlem Shake, JJ did it. Uh, Have you never seen it? I don't think so. I don't think so. The video that had just come out. The Harlem Shake, JJ did it. Uh, Any subscribers is because I subscribed to Shauna. Look how sick this is. The reason I had that many subscribers is because of a video that had just come out. The Harlem Shake. Uh, Have you never seen it? I don't think so. He wasn't gonna do this, you know. He wasn't gonna do a Harlem Shake. Yeah. And then we came up, we, me and him brainstormed and came up with it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is Deji doing? <laughs> oh my god. What is Deji doing? That was my first appearance. <laughs> that was my first appearance. <laughs> and oh that is why I got a thousand my subscribers. God. Keep walking. <laughs> and oh that is why I got a thousand my subscribers. God. Keep walking compared to oh, Alexander Kolarov. Don't see it. That picture! <laughs> I tried to take the picture like it. Oh. Will Smith. That's identical. Justin Bieber. You need to <laughs> pipe down. And 
Hudson. Yeah, that one's, that one's quite okay, like. Okay, that one actually does look a bit No, I'm only kidding. I've never been compared. It's just no, I'm only kidding. Oh. No. Anyways, uh, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Hi again. It's me. And this is another <laughs> random vlog. See how ah, uh, it's which I'm so long. It's the pause <laughs> yeah, so know. long. I know. And he asks, why am I so I'm cool? gonna show you like the most embarrassing moment. Oh, she's hot though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What is it? Like a girlfriend sculpture kit? Yeah, it's create it's it's how to it's make your own girlfriend. You look at her way too seductively. That's I mean, we're blocked. Look, boobs. <laughs> ah, I oh it. my god! I it so much. I mean, yeah, I can see that. Right, smooth, ah. moves. smooth moves. I mean, the height difference is quite similar to us. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hey, right, look, this is emotional. Look, she was getting with a Mexican wrestler. Oh. <laughs> he chucked her out the window. This so is much. this is emotional. It's really emotional. It's a horrible video, okay? I know it. Oh, hello. Well, this is a bad bit. You want to see one of my most embarrassing moments ever on YouTube? Yes, please. I've seen this. People have sent this to me many times on Twitter. I made sure it was clean, just to clear that up. I saw me wiping it. You can get these from fabricclothing.com, <laughs> just so you know. Look, that's seductive though, isn't it? What's it like? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with that. <laughs> Wait, I can't, I can't. I can't! <laughs> Why is this on the internet? Many things are wrong with me. I've been tested. I'm fine. Not in that way. Number one, please introduce yourself. It's for me, isn't it? Yeah, man. <laughs> Look, you're <tearing laughs> me. Look how sick that was. You know how gassed I was. Two, what's your I was like, I, oh, I can, I can imagine that. I can mask it. Look, I'm even looking at myself. Don't know why I'm looking here. It was my school shirt, even though I was 20. I didn't get enough comments on my videos. Right. So Duncan was one of my friends. So I had to get him to comment. Did you ask him to say, put ice down your pants? I said, just give me a random one. And right. he went, put ice down your pants. So. Seven. Yeah, and then I, no. I it there. Six, nine. Oh, like, God. Ten. You don't even have a penis. Seven. You don't know. So, I have a brain, I can imagine. Yeah, how funny I thought 14. I was here as well. <laughs> nice little mask line. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Me and JJ went to E3, which is in LA. Uh, I've been a couple times since. <laughs> We're just stopping by the uh, convention center to pick up our tickets for E3. Yeah. He's looking like a douche as normal. Sure. Mm -hmm. Where's Where's the Someone forgot their ID, so we got to go back now to get it. It's like six in the morning. It's um, actually not that much. Like, this is not bad so, at all. That's what I mean. I think I think I should have lost. He was on 2.4 million at this point. What is it with you and that angle? This angle? No, this Which? angle. That! What is it with you and that angle? This angle? No, this- Which? Which? Actually not that much, like- This is not bad, at all. That's what I mean, I think I think I should have lost- He was on 2.4 million at this point. What is it with you and that angle? This angle? No, this Which? angle. That! Why are you- It's a quick one, it's like a, you know, oh, I'm recording this way, and then I go, oh yeah, done. You know, just to I say something. It's never in my life. Well, you know what? Maybe that's why I got subscribers. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm... Are you joking? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. Nice. See, I didn't wear socks then either. Yeah, you have a massive aversion to socks. <laughs> <laughs> my humour has not changed. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> Look. You needed a girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, did you see the option? Sex, punch a shark, fly, skydive. This is some quality content. Sex, punch a shark, fly, skydive. This is some quality content. Look, there's a channel. <laughs> is it the bin or the thing being thrown into the bin? This is my laptop that I edited everything on. I can't, oh, I can't edit on your laptop. No, it was horrible. I thought it was paper at first. Tissues, oh, the first one was. And then it wasn't. Tissues, and just enjoy it, really. Didn't have a girlfriend at the time. Yeah, I can see that. Nice. The goals we scored took like 
six hours and yet we could look up I was gas. Shout out Adam Pike for that one. Oh! <laughs> Early crossbar challenge. Early crossbar. Oh, look at this. Look, this is trickster. How many shots did it take you? Today was a lot slower. It was a lot more like this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Toby was sick at it. Nice. Oh. Look at this volley. Boy! <laughs> Toby basically created a phrase called Black Goalie where he went in goal. Black Goalie. But that was the first time that it was ever used. He went in goal and went Black Goalie and then saved all these shots. All you have to do is answer four questions and complete four challenges. That sounds simple enough. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, Simon, let's play. Who wants Thanks. to win Morning. their family? Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so round oh, one. Oh, I was gassed by I that. It. Who wants you to tell a stranger that they smell like piss? Why? Just do it. Oh my god. Yeah, that they smell like piss. Why? Just do it. Oh my god. This is JJ's house. Oh my god. This is JJ's house. Oh my god. Smell like piss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not technically a stranger, but I guess we'll accept it. Yes. The final question <laughs> is. Dun, dun. <laughs> I was making it dramatic, innit? Yeah. <laughs> it's dramatic. Has KSI ever force fed you chicken? Yes, he does it every time I go to his house. Literally <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> this is so painfully slow. <laughs> How do you have that footage? Oh my god. I always get something bad from my brothers. Whether it's wrapped in Miley Cyrus paper or if it Still actually do. hurts <laughs> me physically. Oh. Happy birthday. Hey! <laughs> my brother's been in quite a few videos actually. Aww. If you guys if you guys want me to do a video with my brother, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do one better than this one. Is your mum Jack and your dad Royce? They're two footballers who I got told I look like. Nice. My mum is not Jacko and my dad is not Royce. My mum is Royce and my dad is Jacko. You don't believe me? No, look, okay, I'll show you some family pictures, okay? This is me and my family at the park. This is me and my family on the moon. This is me and my family <laughs> in a park on the moon. This is me and my family on holiday at the Great Wall. If you're wondering why all the pictures are the same, it's because mm. basically because we had a blind nun taking all the pictures, we weren't allowed to move. How did your brain even go to that? Like I don't know. We're gonna watch a driving test. This is me telling you how to pass the driving test. Firstly, do not listen to loud music because it will distract you. <gasps> this is my song! Oh my god. You know there was a car coming here, look. There's a car coming and we actually got panicked. Because we did this on like a golf oh course near God. us. <laughs> not drink and drive. You will fail. It's not real alcohol, just pull it out. You want some? You want some? Just don't do anything <laughs> stupid. Anything you wouldn't do on a normal day. Hey, mate. 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 <laughs> and never ever assume you failed because oh you'll end up God. doing something you regret and you may have passed. So just keep going to the very end. Look, I even did my own stunts I'll from fail. early. Yeah. I failed. I knew it. I knew it. Oh no, no, I knew it. I knew it. I'm gripped. See ya. See you later. Usually I regret that. I genuinely jumped out of the car. I was only going like six, seven miles an hour, but I jumped out of the car and I almost got run over. And I was genuinely there like, oh no, this will be fine. This will be easy. You passed. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to leave it there. That was um, some early videos. There's obviously a lot more early videos that... I don't want to show anyone, so uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Check out Talia in the description down below. Subscribe while you're over there. As I said, if you want me to do a video with my brother, let me know. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. And... Peace. Wait, am I supposed to do it as well? What's happening? I don't know what's happening! Peace. <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> what? Emo?
I want to. I'm, I'm actually not very concerned now. Can you get? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Peace. In slow motion. Come stay the night. We can stay up till it's bright. In the morning, got the top open.